Kuo Mi is the signature loud dry noodle dish. Once you take a bite and get a mouthful of caramelized noodles, omelet, fresh herbs, and fried pepper, you will know why people love this dish so much. It's a perfect party dish as it tastes even better at room temperature. Don't judge me as I walk away with the entire platter at the loud parties. Sabai Di Pinong, hi fam, welcome back to Sang's Kitchen. Today we have a special guest with me. Her name is Galapao, named after a Lao Sin bun. She is my new puppy daughter. She's actually my first dog ever and I love her so much. So I thought why not introduce you all to my new puppy. She's gonna be joining me throughout my cooking series just because she's the only guest I have. Um, and she's gonna be smelling all the flavors of Lao food. I hope you all will enjoy seeing her throughout my channel. And so today she's gonna to be my sous chef in making one of the signature Lao dry noodle dish called Kuo Mi. And I believe in this dish so much, I want to elevate it. I think these nudes need the attention and deserve the attention. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started. The first thing you wanna do for this dish is get your noodles ready. So let's go ahead and grab room temperature water and I'm gonna rinse my noodles just once. Rice stick noodles are made out of two ingredients, rice and water. These types of noodles are very good for dry noodle dishes because they're very strong and elastic. You can either sometimes find them as dry or as wet. I like using the wet ones because it'll save me time and I think the fresher the better. After that, you're gonna go ahead and fill it up with water again and you're just gonna let your noodles sit for 30 minutes and this is gonna help them soften up and speed up the cooking process. So while our noodles are sitting in the water, so let's go ahead and work on our omelet. So this is a very simple omelet. So go ahead and grab your eggs, crack them open, and then you're just gonna add a big pinch of pepper and then a pinch of salt to your taste and whisk this together. And you can see that this is a very simple omelet because the noodles are so complex in all these other flavors. I think having a simple omelet kind of helps balance off uh, those flavors. Let's go ahead and turn on your stove and grab a large skillet, add the vegetable oil, and then let's wait until this gets very hot. Once it's ready, you can add the egg mixture and you wanna evenly swirl this around so everything cooks evenly. And this is gonna take a few minutes. Um, my stove is on high and you wanna make sure that your eggs get to a golden crisp color. And that's gonna help your eggs stay firm while it mixes in with the noodles later. So that's gonna be taking about two to three minutes. And then with your flipping skills, let's go ahead and flip the egg. And then this should only be about one minute on this side and then your omelet is done. Go ahead and place the omelet on a cutting board and then I'm just gonna cut it in half, cut into quarters and then cut into thin strips. And you can see that because we cooked it just to its golden point, it stays together and doesn't break off easily. So we'll put this right to the side and now we have to work on our caramelization. In a medium pan, go ahead and add your vegetable oil and you wanna get this at a high temperature and then go ahead and grab your sugar and add that right to the middle. And then this is gonna take a few minutes until it starts to caramelize and you're gonna see that the sugar is gonna be melting and you want it to turn to this golden color, nothing past that or else it's gonna be burnt. Once the sugar has caramelized and turned gold, go ahead and add the garlic, the shallots, and then you wanna mix this together and let the shallot and garlic fry for a bit, about 30 seconds, not too long, because we don't want it to burn. And then after that, go ahead and grab the water and add it right in there, and that's gonna stop the cooking process of the shallots. And you wanna let all the sugar mixture melt into the water for a bit and let it boil. Once the mixture starts boiling, we can add our sauces. So let's go ahead and add the sweet soy sauce, the seasoning sauce. Seasoning sauce is a very broad category and depending on where you live, the sauces can be very different. The original seasoning sauce was actually created in Switzerland and then it found its way to Southeast Asia. And now we see so many different brands that have created different types of seasoning sauce for Southeast Asian cooking. This seasoning sauce is actually very beloved in a lot of Lao household. It goes well with just steamed rice and that is a meal for me. It's so good, just with the rice, super good. The oyster sauce, fish sauce, and then you're gonna mix this all together. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed. And now we wanna strain our noodles to get it ready to put into the sauce. So make sure that your sauce is boiling hot. Once your sauce is boiling, go ahead and add all those noodles right in. And you're gonna see that it's a lot of liquid, but eventually all the liquid will be soaked into the noodles. So continuously stir, use some tongs to 
move it back and forth, and this is gonna take a few minutes until all the sauce is absorbed. All right, the sauce is absorbed. Let's go ahead and turn off our heat, and let's bring all these noodles into a bowl. And you're gonna let the noodles just sit out for about 30 minutes until they cool off because once they cool off, then it'll be easier to pull apart. Because if you were to pull apart as they're hot, it's not gonna break apart as easily. Our noodles have cooled down and now we're gonna add our herbs. This is not just about green onions, but it's about all the herbs that we're using in this dish. So please, please, please have everything diced up, but don't add it right when your noodles come off the hot pan or else it's gonna cook your herbs and it's gonna wilt them. You don't want that. You want fresh herbs that stay intact for this dish and it's gonna make your dish taste so much better. So be patient, add your herbs after everything's cooled down. Thank you. So go ahead and add some diced cilantro, diced green onion, and then some bean sprouts. And then I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of the omelet and you wanna mix it well. I'm gonna use my plastic glove to mix this really well. Kuomi is almost done and now we have to plate it. So go ahead and pour all these noodles right onto a large platter. And now I'm gonna to top it off with some extra omelet. And then what I love about this dish is that even though it's sweet, it also comes packing with a punch because I have some extra deep fried uh, bird eye chili peppers I'm gonna to top off on the top. All right, so that's how you make komi. I'm gonna come right to the front and show you how delicious these caramelized noodles are. Look y'all, a platter of komi for one because I am a hungry person. So I'm gonna just dig in, make sure I get some omelet, some veggies. Mmm. Pepper. That's really good. Mm. It's sweet, but also very spicy. Every time I go to a Lao party, I make sure to grab these noodles first because I know they're gonna be gone first. So don't walk, but run to these noodles. These are gonna be perfect for any party and your friends will love you so much. So enjoy your kuomi, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make cool meat. It's definitely one of my favorite noodle dishes to make. If you're going to a big party, make sure to make plenty of this because it's gonna be devoured first. Let me know in the comments below what other types of noodles you all enjoy making. And someone's at the door. No, you can't have the recipe, but... <laughs>